Hi guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So today I'm doing something different. Um, I'm making uh, cat bowls or very small dog bowls. So let's go ahead and get started. I actually got these bowls at the Dollar Tree. Um, very nice quality. So I went ahead and took the sticker off the bottom and sanded it before I get ready to epoxy it. These have a little slant to them towards the bottom. So um, as you can see, I had to wedge my cat bowl onto a foam insert. Um, and this, the bigger one, fit really well to where it really wasn't going to just pop off. So I'm starting with about 10 milliliters of epoxy. And I'm adding a little bit of white alumalite uh, epoxy dye into um, part of my medicine cup. I have probably another 10 milliliters or less sitting off to the side for um, future use here later. So I mix that really well and then I'm going to go ahead and epoxy this cat bowl. <laughs> and um, I'm not going up over the rim. That's still going to be stainless. Um, but I'm getting as close to the underneath of the rim as possible. It's, um, not exactly pretty under there, but the cats don't care. No one's going to see it. So just the area to where the top and the bottom that I'm epoxying, I torched it to pop any bubbles. And then I'm going to use some, um, of this Let's Resin Mint Green, uh, alcohol ink and it's very concentrated it is a vibrant um color it's not translucent so i guess it's opaque um but i really like this set for different uh looks as opposed to some of the other uh, alcohol ink that i've used it's very translucent so i really like this it's very opaque and then i am going to use some black and i'm going to put a little bit of black onto a popsicle stick and you'll be able to see um how little I put on, although I dumped it right there. So um, just a little because the black does overtake everything and I did not want this to have a whole lot of black on it. So once I get on that on there, I am um, a little bit of epoxy that was left. Um, I split that into two separate cups and added white into it. And I'm just drizzling it all over the cat bowl. I keep wanting to say tumbler. So once that's done, I do take my heat gun and um, hit it with some heat so that I get that the inks and the epoxy to start swirling. Um, I will switch it. There we go. Switch the turner to go the opposite way. And then um, you can see that they're starting to mix together really well. And then I tilt the tumbler, not the tumbler, the turner <laughs> um, to just kind of get them moving a little bit more. And I will do this back and forth um, although I don't show you every single time I did it. Um, but I really just want to get those uh, that epoxy moving and swirling um, in here. I like how this is looking. So I'm adding the leftover epoxy. Uh, I added Ducky from Glitter Heart Co. It's a really pretty minty um, glitter, but it's very almost transparent. It'll take on the colors underneath, and I'm just kind of drizzling it over the cat bowl. And then um, once I'm satisfied with that, I will let this spin overnight. So I'm going on to another one to show you. Um, I have two cats, so I'm making two, and the epoxy that I have set aside, I'm putting in this um, pearl black uh, mica and um, it is a dark mica and it's excellent for coating your tumblers if you can't base paint it first so I'm adding that the same way that I did the white and um, these are kind of matching but not matchy matchy they have the same colors I just kind of doing them I guess backwards where the one had white and this one has a black base um and that way my cat, not, not that my cats will be able to tell them apart, but <laughs> um, I will when I go to feed them because one cat gets 
a little different, but they know where their bowl sits, if that makes any sense. They will not eat out of each other's bowls. So once I place this in the one cat's area, anyway. So here's that mint. Now this gives it almost a different um, color of mint. Um, it kind of deepens it up. And I do add a little bit of white. I'm still going to drizzle with the white. But I do add, um, I think a little later, some white um, Ranger um, Blanco. No, I'm using Pinata Blanca Blanco. So I am drizzling the white here, heating that up to get it swirling. Um, and I was hoping that that white would lighten up the teal or the mint. I guess it looks more teal here. Um, more than it did. And that's why I went ahead and added here. I am adding the Blanco Blanco. And just a little bit, not overpowering it, just to try to get some of that to lighten up. But it doesn't do exactly what I want it to, but it still gave it cool. It gave it some dimension. There's some darker teal into it that lighter. And I am loving how this is looking. And I'm going to use the same ducky from Glitter Heart Co. to drizzle um, glitter in here. Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep these kind of matching each other, but not exactly like each other. So I'm drizzling that. And then after that is done, I do add some chunky and I have like, I want to say it's either let's resin. I'm not really sure, but I had gotten them off of Amazon forever ago, this chunky glitter. And so that's what I'm going to use to kind of just sprinkle here I'm sprinkling it over and off camera since I did this decided to do this I had the other one spinning I went ahead and added some um, silver to that other one um, but I don't show it you'll see it um, in the next step but look how beautiful this is I absolutely love this so then I'm gonna let these spin overnight and then once they're done we'll move into the next step So once that's done and cured, I did cut out vinyl. Now, I'm kind of like, I did these opposite colors. I'm kind of going to do the vinyl the opposite colors as well. I do an offset of each cat's name and um, just a regular vinyl for their name. But it's going to be alternating. So on the um, one gets a black offset and the other one will get the teal minty offset. So I'm here weeding the vinyl and these vinyls weed so easily. The first, the black vinyl is a um, HTV Ront, love it. And then this vinyl, I think it's just some random thing that I think might have come with my silhouette several years ago when I got it. So um, it, I just, I like them both. They're pretty easy to weed. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put the name on top of the offset for each of them. So for Missy, um, she is our little pain in the butt cat. I gotta love her, but she is mischievous. And so she's getting the black offset. And then Pudge. And if you saw Pudge, you would know why his name is Pudge. But... Um, He's a pudgy, so he'll get the black writing onto the teal offset. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, add the vinyl onto the side of the bowl here. Not that they know how to read, <laughs> but I just thought it was a nice addition instead of just leaving it just plain epoxy. And then I'll do the same thing for the other tumbler, not tumbler, the other bowl.
and I'm just loving these so far. So I am gonna go ahead and add a coat of the CC DIY Quick Coat over the vinyl so that it doesn't lift. Once that's dry, I will add two final coats of epoxy and these bowls are done. So you can see here, I just kind of pulled out the insert and um, I still have the tag on the inside. Um, I will wash these before, let these cure for 72 hours before the cats use them, of course. But then I'll hand wash these and get all the sticky stuff out from the tag because the one did not want to come out. But um, I think these will, the cats will enjoy these. I mean, if it's going to have food in it, they'll enjoy it, right? But there is what they're looking like and I just love them. Um, I think it's going to be great to, for them to have somewhat matching bowls um, to eat out of and um, really you can do this on any size of bowls and so yeah let me know if you are interested um, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a great big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye